Fight your fears and survive. push this box over this hole or I get attacked by a uh, monster from underneath. That's a boss later, a uh, plant boss. room out. So there is a spider. Now just to show you, there are these three oil lamps in this area, and they're related to a puzzle that is an option to do with Chris if you don't uh, save Richard with with the serum you get this option um, I think it's an option I, I don't I, I've never actually done it myself I always save Richard because I want the uh, salt shotgun but if you don't save Richard there's this way where you can have Rebecca help uh, in a boss fight against this uh, plant monster that comes in later and you need um, if you to, to for Rebecca to help you need to like solve a puzzle that involves these keep moving You got a red one, a green one, and then there's an orange or a yellow one. And each one of these has a uh, different symbol that's uh, color-coded. Might have some kind of meaning, yeah. Sure does. If I don't explain how to do the V-Jolt puzzle, I'll write it in the description. You got a blank book. Blank book. Well, if you look closely at this on the binding, you see a foot. That's what that is. Bandage with blood. Empty book.
orange light. Some billiard balls. Now the numbers that you need are three, five, and six. Okay, so three is red, and five, I would call that yellow, but it's considered orange in this code, and green six. So three, five, and six. That's what the code is. You don't, I wouldn't say you necessarily enter it in that order. It has to do with, uh, there's going to be this keypad you'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. And the colors on the, the candle symbols, the oil symbols, they have to, you match the billiard ball color with the symbol that's on the keypad. We'll get to that. I ought to be able to open it up. If I could just run by this guy. Did he poison me? Yes, he sure did. Almost got by him. Might as well just use that. I won't be coming back to this room. I think the time it would have taken me to get all the way over here. The thing is, my inventory was full, right? So I would have had to have gone to the item chest, put something back, come out here, get a blue herb, and then heal. And I might not necessarily be on on a fine. Now, in... in some of the other classic Resident Evil games, when you got poisoned, you couldn't see how much health you had. You just saw that you were poisoned. And then after you healed yourself of the poison, you might be on caution, you might be on danger, you know. It was, it was like you were bleeding out from the poison, taking damage over time. It looked like here that it did say I was poisoned, but it also indicated that I was fine, because... I had just recently gotten poisoned. Shells are just stacking up real nice. Uh, I think I'll stick with this. Save so much shotgun ammo. I could afford to be more liberal, but I'm still trying to use my handgun as much as I can. What's in here? Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. There's a map of the residence. And this place is evil. This is the resonance that is evil. Got the map of the resonance. There's a hole in the wall here. Do not mess with that hole yet. If you examine it, uh, I believe bees come out. Do something else before it's safe. Zombies in here. Oh, sh Copper.
Water's leaking from the tank. Take the residence key. Let's examine it. Number 001 is on it. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The, pl the plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at the current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main source of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is, one source is through the root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since the basement has been like a pool, there is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plants, plant 42's rapid growth. The plant 42's rapid growth. That's, I guess that's its, its official name, plant 42. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it is used to the air ducts to reach. We are sure that it is used. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long, tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. It's a carnivorous plant. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's in inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform, petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if, uh, one witness reported that it was as if, that's like an incomplete sentence. One witness reported that it was as if was trying to protect itself. It should be as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. Ingerish. Inger I mean, it's pretty good, but you know, it, it could really throw off a sentence if it's missing an it or an is or an a or a the. And Henry. So that that was just telling you, giving you some tips on how you were, you were going to fight the plant boss if you were going to use weapons. It says um, it reveals its petals. You know, it, it opens its petals up to reveal its internals, and at that point it becomes more aggressive, but that would be the time that you need to shoot at it, too. That was an FYI for a boss fight tip. And I just push that back. No, I can't push it back. This key that I have backtrack a little. There doesn't seem to be anything useful.
chuck it. Got a guy that hung himself. Will you take the self defense gun? Okay. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. More handgun ammo. Anything else in here? Old bookcase. Bed shows signs of slightly being used. Said something like that. something inside the bathtub. Will you take the control room key? Yes. Was that it? Thought that guy was gonna drop down. I mean, he usually does. I don't see why he, he didn't drop down. I don't know what triggers that. If I have to go back into that room, it's not going to be as safe as it was on that last visit there. Um... getting to a point uh, where I'm going right now handgun isn't going to be of any use Maybe not even the shotgun I think I actually I don't need this book and I do need this key, but let me let me go back here. I'll take the handgun and, and an herb. And I need that key. single serving key <laughs> I 
Maybe the zombie didn't drop down from the rope because I bothered to read his suicide note. That would be something. It's locked. Reads gallery. This key... Yeah, I pushed some bookcases out of the way. I'm gonna go to, like, this basement, um, aquarium, water area, aqua ring. You can see the mist in the air, humidity, atmosphere. Waste some time pushing boxes. Seriously, down here, I don't think there's any use for my handgun. There's nothing to shoot with your handgun down here. So as is, I got four item slots free, right? Got one herb. Oh, I still have this contr control room key. It's That's going to disappear once I find the right place. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll take it. After you pass those boxes, it's uh, kind of hard to get back there, so... Take that herb. Richard! Yo, Richard. Chris! He looks panicked. Chris, stop! No! Deep Richard. blue sea, motherfucker. Fast as I can. Use the control room key. Just guard it. So Richard sacrificed himself took the shark yet. The warning lamp indicates that there is an emergency. Map of the aqua ring. Too much. Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve number one. Chris.
That effect wasn't in the GameCube one. Lighting and atmosphere turned up to 11 in this. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. There's a control level for the pressure shelter, but it won't budge until the safety is released. The pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. The safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. Okay. There's a control. Yeah. Let's pull it. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Well. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the sh safety. Hopefully I know where that is. He switches. Control the oil pressure valves. Press which one? I just read. Um, there, was, there was instructions on a table. It said number one would do it. Reaching 50% of pressure. Pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. Safety mechanism. Okay. So we're just repeating it again. After I fixed fixed uh, whatever the oil pressure Activate problem was. Emergency drainage system immediately. So now the shutters are fully covering all the windows up. That's done. Drain the water. Water has been completely drained. Shells. The materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. About as worthless as wet dynamite. Take that assault shotgun. Running out of space. Yeah, I need that key in there. So, you can either waste your ammo on this thing. Or you could push that control panel into there. The genera generator unit for the water flow control system. Pull the lever down. Generator unit for the water flow control system uh, is toasted. Residence key. There's nothing unusual. Gallery key. Yep, shouldn't have brought my handgun. Didn't need it. Shouldn't have brought it. Now, if there's anything else juicy down here. Might not be able to get it. Oh, 
I'm kidding. If there's if there's something else down here that's useful, um, that's worth getting, I'll use the one green herb. I am slightly damaged. That's what my shrink said. Okay. This way, I think, is our exit. Yes, that is what I was referring to. Now, I can backtrack and come back here and get it, but is it really worth doing that? Just to save one green herb? I think not. Take the magnum rounds. Yet another time it'd be good to be Jill coming down here with an extra two item slots. Locked it. See now, if I wanted to go get that green herb, couldn't get it right now. I'd have to do a big backtrack to get that green herb that I ended up using. All right. You look here. Okay, I think this is it. If you look at the map right now, um, the blue door that's at, at the bottom of the map, that was the uh, control room where I was running from the sharks, one of them bit me and I went to the control room, okay? That blue door at the bottom of the map. Now, above that, there's another door that you can see that's on the left side of the uh, circle in the map. And it's a uh, white door. Excuse me, it's a white door. That's accessible. Um, possibly even when the sharks are out, but it'd be, a, it'd be a much better idea to go after you drain the water. But if you go there, uh, you can see the root of the plant boss that's going to be coming out, uh, coming up, Plant 42. And that is where you administer the uh, V-Jolt uh, chemical that you can create. And I'm going to show you where you do that coming up here. Got to open up the gallery door. Yeah, they, they have like a chemistry lab where you mix some things together, you follow some instructions, and you get an item called V-Jolt. It's like this brown uh, liquid in a jar. You know, just, I almost want to just call it sulfuric acid because that's pretty much what it'll, what it'll do to that monster. Use the gallery key. There's no further use for this. Discard it. Oh, I need to just go store this stuff away. That's what I need to do. And I need to go get that book. Book with the woman's foot on it. So now I have two shotguns. And you're gonna you're gonna want to carry around the assault one as far as um, you know. As soon as you empty out the, the regular one, you're just gonna want to not use the regular shotgun again and just stick with the assault one because it carries more shells and, for all intents and purposes, it's just a better weapon. You, you just have to look at it as being a better weapon, whether that. Is true or not, just being able to carry more shells, that makes it a better one. Okay. Stack them. Yeah, Chris. Because he doesn't get grenade rounds and a grenade launcher. He gets a lot more shells. Just looking at, I need... Need a 
just need that book. That's what I need. Probably gonna end up coming back here to save. Before I actually do the boss fight. Take a look at this. Fires 12 gauge shells, a star's custom arsenal, Richard's favorite. Seems like a lot could go wrong during the plant boss fight. I think maybe if I just bring some herbs I won't need to save before. But, I mean I could put two saves in the same, um, same video. I don't have any rule about that. But so far every video has been one save. video per save. A corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. Will you take the insecticide spray? Yes. Look at those bees. Bees are up to no good. Wasps. 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 And no more bugs. Now what I was talking about, the lock mechanism for the door, use it. Okay, so let's just put three, five, six. That didn't work. is three. Let's go uh, six, five. Okay, there you go. So in this room with Jill, if you're playing with Jill, because Jill's just so talented. She can play piano perfectly the first time. She doesn't have to practice. And she has a thing for chemistry, and she can do this, but but Chris, look at Chris. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. Yep, this room is completely useless, but I opened it up so you could see what was going on in here. This is where you make the V-jolt. You know what, is there, isn't there a note? There might be a note in here. If there's not a note here, it's gonna be in, maybe in the room where I, I put the book. It might be where it is. Lock. 
Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get the. Mm. I killed that big shark, but I didn't get the key. Is that what happened? No, wait. I got the. I got the gallery key. What? Oh, no, no, it's down here. Wait, it, it has to be down here. I couldn't get to it before because of the, uh, the wasps. Getting concerned there. Number three. Look at that poor son of a bitch. Big ol' swollen face. There's got to be some more zombies around here. I will execute them. No, there's none. It's full of dirty water. Let's pull it. And there's jack shit. What do we have here? The roots of some kind of giant plant are sticking out of the wall. Now, I don't think you can use the V jolt here. You gotta go to the, the aqua ring. The tap for the wash basin doesn't seem to be working. Plants. Just take whatever they want. Power of Earth. Ask Kwame about it. Okay. Shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book. Take it. Organic Chemistry Lab Experiment. This is where it's talk going to talk about the V-Jolt. Similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of a plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. It's pretty, pretty effective. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling uh, UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows, and, you know, take that for what it is. Now I can use this here. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books. Okay, let's put the foot all the way on the left. Reorder the books. Yeah, let's continue. Let's put her ankle next to there. One more. And you got your artistically illustrated naked lady. And just beyond these doors we have a boss fight, which I could potentially go and fight it right now, but I, I think it would take more than 10 shells, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna go get that self-defense gun because it's it's just like a one-time use item and why not use it there 
if you think about it, I do have the Magnum. That's a that's a pretty powerful weapon that I could possibly use. I think I'm gonna go with assault shotgun, self and the self defense gun. I'm just, you know, I'll I'll save, I'll save before I do it. Yeah, this way. If I went in the wrong door, there's there's got to be something where that zombie comes down. I don't know why it's still up there. I have no idea. Other than I I read his suicide note and he didn't get mad at me because I read it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I sh I should have burned one more body when I was back at the mansion. Might as well refuel this. Yeah. Not gonna be burning too many more bodies. typewriter you can save your progress yeah let's do that Passing up taking. I'm gonna pass up taking the Magnum. A little funny. Doing that. Yeah, let's go this way. think I wasn't going to take the Magnum. Alright. This, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the Magnum. I'm going to use the self-defense gun first. I'm going to fire off two or three shots with the Magnum. Then I'm going to just use the assault shotgun. And I did talk about how I want to empty out the normal shotgun, but just because of the the range, the supposed range that the uh, assault shotgun should have an advantage on, because it, the the spread on it should be tighter, while the normal shotgun is has more of a wide spread. I think this would be more effective against this boss. Something that sucks about the self-defense gun is after you're done using it, um, it's just in your inventory until you put it away. So it's going to take up one slot um, for this whole whole thing. in here. Check that out. A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. Your view is blocked by the dense thick by the dense thicket of trees. Look at this little guy. A self-defense gun that fires uh, 22 
caliber magnum rounds. One round has been fired already. Yeah, this is what that guy... Wait a minute. I think the guy that hung himself, he used this to shoot, like, someone else that was infected, and then he hung himself. That was the deal with this. It's the story behind this weapon. Plant 42. Like I was standing still. Okay, I got a shot on him there. I'm not good at reading the tells on this thing. Okay, so self-defense gun, one bullet, two magnum rounds, two shotgun shells from this, two assault shotgun shells. Take the mansion key. Graving of a helmet. Got the helmet key. Anything else in here? Pretty sure I didn't leave anything upstairs. Is this open? Door refuses to open. scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. Pity. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Kind of. have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Now, was that red herb there the whole time? Mm. Pharmaceutical room. Oh, I'm on caution. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Sure. Yeah, would you? Thanks. Be strong, Rebecca. And her eyes.
guys. Do you have anything else to say? Take care, Chris. Okay. Now, whether... I have a feeling if I hadn't figured out that code, that door would have just already been unlocked, so I could have just walked in there and gotten healed. So... I... That would make some sense. Also, this whole thing of Rebecca healing your wounds, that's something you don't get with Jill. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Squish. Yeah, so Barry Burton saves Jill, you know, from the crush crushing uh, room, the, you know, shotgun trap room. Saves her from becoming a Jill sandwich. He gives her, uh, you know, either some acid rounds or grenade rounds somewhere in the game. Uh, Chris, you get Rebecca to heal you a couple times. trouble. back here I'm going to throw these two blue herbs Spiders can poison you. That's what'll poison you. Forgot, do I need the crank? I don't believe I do. No, I don't. Somehow give me a sign. 
Krista, Brad, can you hear me? Brad! Damn! Work my way back to the main mansion. Dog. Ah. How many times do I gotta shoot these things? A lot of people just run by them. Yeah, I guess that could be part of a strategy. You you shoot at them a little bit, and then you you run a bit because they 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 kind of come at you. They they kind of serpentine towards you, so you might be able to get out of the way. But just overall, they're tricky, and a lot of people just just totally run by them 100%. They just don't mess with dogs. No, I want to shoot them. Cause fuck dogs, I'm a cat person. Come on, caution. Dogs here are gone because I cleared them out earlier. Uh, why not? Uh, yeah, I might regret this, but I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to use it. More of everything. Is loaded now. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in the chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Alright, so that doorknob that I could only use twice, it's fixed now. And, and video.